Welcome to round two of the DCSS Bracket Challenge. In this tournament, I'll be working my way through a tournament consisting of all of the unique combinations of species and backgrounds to see which combo comes out on top. This is the second matchup of the round of 128. We'll have a Cobalt Cinder Acolyte versus a Vampire Ice Elementalist. I really need to become more consistent with the Cinder Acolyte. Sometimes it goes really great, sometimes I'm out in D1. So in my head, this is a total crapshoot. That said, my bet is still on the Cobalt because I also suck as a vampire. In game one, we saw the Hill Orc squeeze out a win against the Genie Air Elementalist. In round one, these two combos in this matchup had incredibly close scores in their wins. Wow. So again, this leads me to believe this is a toss-up. And so, without further ado, let's get right into the action. So we'll start with the Cobalt Cinder Acolyte. The thing is I should get better as Cobalt. Love that short sword plus three skill. Main thing I have to remember when running a Cinder Acolyte is that the skills of Ignis will help me in defensive moments. So for the most part, this should be acted like a fighter with some stabbing skills, but we have to be able to remember to use the fiery uh, armor and to be able to protect myself in really tough situations. Already up at level 2, found some plate armor right off the bat, so it's pretty incredible. At level 2, though, I should already be pulling Scorch into my repertoire. And so the ringmail will help because we can lower the encumbrance by switching over to that. Scorch is being memorized now. So we should probably get back to using lighter armor so that we can use Scorch more regularly. If this character can run around scorching everything, that'll be really great. So here we take some intelligence to be able to make the Scorch more effective. I'm not sure that's the right choice, but it'll work here for now. Again, we haven't even changed out of the plate armor yet, so for now we're just trying to beat everything up by running around. Seems to be going pretty well. So look at that stealth on the Cobalt. I am really lean into stealth on the Cobalt in this run, and I think that's how this character should work. It's a Cinder Acolyte using Scorch, running around, trying to get up close enough to be able to Scorch things with a heavy amount of sneak. So that's what we're going to aim to try to do, get that sneak nice and high so we can sneak up on stuff and Scorch it. Still, no need to do so just yet. We can still use our Short Sword of Flame to kill... Oh, this is an interesting little layout. Let's see what... We don't need a Fallen Idol anyway, so... But that's a cool little layout, though. Reflection's great. Armor of Reflection's great. Stealth is up to level 1. We're going nicely. Ooh, that poison's not very good. That's a dangerous situation. This is a lot of bad guys. Okay, so here's where the fiery armor comes in play. Be smart about things. Use the, use the Ignis skills as often as possible. As often as necessary. That way we don't die before we're supposed to. I saw some interesting things in that shopping list, but... Um, we'll see whether we come back and buy them. They were all pretty expensive. So here we got stealth already to 4, but I decided to go all the way up to 8 because it's worth it. Let's get it nice and stealthy, and then we'll scorch stuff. Oh, look at this. Ooh, a spear of flaming. Okay, so this is perfect for the character, perfect for role-playing, and uh, we're really going to be able to kill things from a distance now. Um, a, a, a spear of flaming plus the ability to scorch is really going to come together nicely. Ring of Willpower is as good as anything, so we'll put that on immediately. And here's where we're going to switch down to the Leather Armor so we can start our Scorch campaign. 9% is good enough. We're going to Scorch a bunch of stuff. Get close enough, Scorch. Get close enough, Scorch. Over and over again. So let's see this Endoplasm experience it, and then we'll go down to D3. Okay, this is where things get dangerous. Knolls getting too close already. But we can... Stair dance them a little bit. Come back down, scorch some stuff. Oh, one at a time, smart move. Whip of Venom, might as well grab that. Okay, let's go down and see what this guy's got. Scorch him. We could be using the uh, the trident, or the spear of flame, but we can scorch things just as well, as long as we have the magic to do so. I think it's kind of cool that we're going to be able to do both things. Refill that magic before going any further. Whip of Flaming. That's good. Fits the fits the ethos of the character. 
Yeah, that orc is nothing. So this is working out great. The Scorch is really killing stuff. We're at level 6 already. We're smoking things. It's feeling good. All right. D3, showing no problems. Let's see if we get any named characters. Ooh, that's a lot of gnolls. So we gotta be smart here, don't do, yeah, we gotta contaminate it and then walked away. That was one of the smartest moves I've done. So here, we wanna try to shout and see if this gnoll will wake up and come to us. Just one, follow me. No, it didn't work. All right, let's get a little closer. Maybe we can scorch from here. And, oh, nope, accidentally woke up all of them. Okay, so we'll run back to the stairs. Or no, we'll go into this little corridor here. Got one of them down. Yep, if we can take them out one by one, that's fine. Yep, that's great, okay. This will be just A, okay. All right, those guys have nothing on me. Dart slug, easy. Ooh, bombardier beetle. Oh, whoa. Okay, maybe we're pretty strong. Killing things one shot in them. Whoa, killed that bombardier beetle real fast. Ring of strength, that's great. It's going to suit this character in the long run. All right, D3, finishing that up, heading down to D4, just like that. This is speedy. Clicking up some good stuff. Yeah, scorching things. No problem. Everything tries to get close. That's a lot of orcs, though. So we'll move back. It's a good place to finish them off. Still pretty good. Things are getting close. Oh, okay. We've run into a lot of trouble with phantoms lately. Oh, wow. We're really doing great. Phantoms don't like the flame. Okay. Adder. Gary, get out of here. Dance over. Take out this endoplasm. Get some poison darts. And a ring of intelligence. That's really good. Okay. So put that ring on. And here's a hound zombie. Some, so some zombie stuff going on here. Oh, yep, there we go. And don't need that god, so we're going to be okay without that. Put on the boots. Kobolds wear boots. Ooh, this guy's got something special. Let's see what it is. Took him out. It's a wand of paralysis. Okay, that's not so bad. Ooh, look at this cool layout. A temple. Oh, don't get set on fire. Uh, but we don't need the temple because we have Ignis, so... These guys are no problem. That guy caused a little more trouble than I like to admit. But we're on a D5. Ooh, Ice Beast is more scary in other situations, but when we're a fire dude, we're not that much worried about it. A little bit of evocations is good. Pull arms is solid. Killing off orcs as we move around. Feeling pretty good. This guy can't even get close enough to us. Holler monkey making a lot of noise. Pull arms at level two. This acid, um, this acid scales is very good for us because it's going to give us a little more AC and lower encumbrance. Uh, we can put the ring of intelligence on and we're really gonna scorch things quite a bit. So, feels pretty good. The hound here is gonna make some trouble if it makes too much noise but we should be good ogre uh oh whoa hit us hit us in one move Ooh, that could have been the end wow reach level eight though that's pretty solid but we our ac is so low getting hit is not a good idea with this character even though i want to get up close with the spear we have to basically play this oh that bear is going to get too close oh my goodness oh we have to kill things much faster than that I'm definitely nervous about how low the AC is on this character. Maybe we should be doing some evasion. But the stealth has been really good. We're going to be able to get up close to things and scorch them still. Everything's asleep when we get close to it, so that's solid. Yeah, this phantom. We already saw we could get these guys out of here quick. Ooh. Scorpion gets up close. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. That's a. This has been a tough fight. Whoa. Alright, pull arms to four. That's good for our pull arm of... Flames, or Spear of Flames. And we're done with D5. On to D6, feeling good. Might even make it to Lair this time. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. Oh, teleport, get out of there. So we'll teleport real quick. Let's see what we got uh, for the next scroll. 
Oh yeah, so rushing water, we gotta try to make it to the sewer. So it's gonna cause us to play a little differently. The sewer would be really valuable for points and for um, getting some XP, getting a little bit ahead of the curve on XP. Sleep cap is very dangerous. Oh, already fell asleep to it. I'm very nervous about sleep cap with this character. Oh, Howler Monkey can make a lot of noise. That's not good. Another sleep cap. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Eek. Okay, phew. Fire magic up to level 5. That's good. A bear and a phantom. Oh, that phantom helped us. Didn't know it, but it, it blinked us out of the place where we could get double teamed. Oh, this must be the sewer. So this is solid. It must be in this hole here. Uh, nope, guess not. That is a um, Nemelex, <laughs> uh, whatever his name is, uh, Alter. So don't need that. We have our boy Ignis, so we're solid without that. I really can't find that sewer, so that's really troubling. Ugh, it looks like we're not going to make it to the sewer. That's a bummer. Could be anywhere. It could be right down here. Ooh, this is trouble. Make sure we take out this guy before he smites us. That guy just slept through that entire thing. I love that when everybody sleeps through our attacks. Yeah, but we're just not going to make it in time. Took the intelligence again. I don't know that's a smart move. The strength is getting up there because we have the strength ring. Oh, we're marked. Okay, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to go upstairs and wait. Yeah, that's the smart move. Okay, we're too far away from that, um, from where the sewer is to make it. So we'll have to try to, oh, okay, let's see. It. Oh, here's the sewer. This is perfect. Can we make it? No, it's already said it's already falling apart. Dang. Check it. Nah, can't go down. Darn. Okay, so we're not going to get that XP. Wow, we really crushed all those dudes. This sleep cap is maybe going to cause trouble. Let's see. Oh, this is identified. Good. Enlightenment. Uh-oh, sleep cap is awake. Take it out. Don't fall asleep. Oh, no. There's an orc coming. Okay, we're good. Uh, I would go upstairs. Yep, smart. Take this guy out. Refill. Come down. This is still a dangerous situation, but lots of scorching going on. Okay, we're going to 1v1 this orc warrior. Eek. Uh, can we do it? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, phew. That was a dangerous one. Okay, now there's nothing down this stair, so we'll take out this wizard. Pick up some good stuff. Resist corrosion's good. Plus four dagger is not necessary. No, we don't want to wear any of that stuff. Let's identify another thing. Brilliance, meh. Let's pick this one. Curing is good. It's a step in the right direction. Scorch this dude. Yep, these guys have... I don't think they're trouble. Out of... Uh, out of magic happens quite a bit, though. So I'm nervous about that. Okay, this troll. Probably not worth fighting it up close like this. And I don't know why we made this decision and we're dead. Whoa, one of those dudes had an electric... Yeah, plus two dagger of electrocution. Okay, I guess we kind of rushed that. That was a weird ending. But that's the end of the Cinder Acolyte. Pretty good score, I think. Somewhere in the upper 2000s. Or upper 1000s. Okay, Vampire Ice Elementalist. Oh, fell through a shaft immediately. Like in the first room. That's crazy. So we're in danger down here on D2 with a uh, level one character. Yikes. This is not looking good for the Ice Elementalist. Um, I do enjoy Ice Elementalist quite a lot, but I do not know how to use the Alive um, versus uh, Blood-Drained versions of the Vampire, so that uh, is an advantage to the Kobold. But we're already at level two because we're killing stuff on D1. Oh, we're back on D1 now, so that's good. Level 2 means that we can get Frozen Ramparts? No, it's a level 3 spell. Okay, but Frozen Ramparts is awesome. Can't wait to get that going. 
that's a lot of dudes. I wouldn't walk right in the middle of that room like that. This Quilka is chasing us. We can freeze these dudes, no problem. This is D1. We can handle these dudes with just freeze. And we have a short sword. XP's going up quickly. Orb of Energy could be useful. I mean, we probably should put it on. I don't know. I don't like that it um, lowers the success rate. I really like to have high success rate on my spells. Um, just because I'm nerve wrap, nervous about having a miss at the wrong time. Uh, maybe as we get a little bit higher in levels, we can add the orb. But for now, we'll go without it. This would be a great time to have frozen ramparts take this dude out on the wall. But not quite yet. Frilled lizard coming close. Stealth up to level 4, that's good. Get up close to the things in Frozen Rampart them, I love that idea. Kill things while they're asleep by freezing them to death. Alright, so far so good. Still on D1, surprisingly. Um, almost to level 3 already. Lots of stuff to kill on this level. So, after a shaky start, this... Vampire has a chance to keep up with that Cinder Acolyte. Dang, I really feel bad about the way that Cinder Acolyte ended. Should have gone a little bit further. That's okay. We'll get up close to this dude, take him out. Okay, here we go. Just walking around, freezing things. People think they're having a good time sleeping in there. Cozy dungeon beds. Little they know, they're all gonna get frozen. Interesting situation here. Probably should have. Ooh, uh oh, this guy's messing us up. This is trouble. Uh oh. Ooh, we still could die though. This endoplasm is not very strong, but it could absolutely kill us. We have no magic, so that's a real trouble situation. Gotta move away. Got one magic left, could freeze now. Maybe wait till we get to two. Okay, got him. Whew, that was a tough situation. It just shows how fragile this character is. AC of two, just not able to have like big fights like that. Constricted by that ball of python, but that wasn't enough to take us out. Still on D1 at this point. That's pretty incredible. And there goes the bat, so we're feeling good there. And feeling good overall. Yep, let's check this. Ashinsari, Thetis, none of these are very good um, caster gods. I don't think I'd take any of those, yeah. I mean, I think Ashinsari is very good, but if I got Kika Pika Biki Biki, I would uh, really be in trouble. Oh, here we go, Frozen Ramparts is here. I don't know, Cinder Acolyte's not looking good now. Yeah, baby. Frozen Ramparts. So good. Stealth up to level 5. That's good. Ring of Protection from Fire. That fits our character perfectly. Ice Elementalist does not want to be on fire. Explore down this massive long hallway. Alright, Cobalt. What a crazy layout for D2. All right, feeling good, and that's the end of D2. Let's head to D3. Now this is where things get interesting. Oh, I'm gonna love the Frozen Ramparts, these dudes. Haha, <laughs> silly. Okay, oh man, I love Frozen Ramparts. I love the way that it um, can take out so many things. Uh, it's great defensive. Um, this is gonna be a perfect hallway for it. Dum dum comes closer. People to the monsters just come right in, get themselves squashed. It's not good for things that blink you, so that's not good. But um, it it can come in handy against dumb orcs like this that just walk right into my hallway of freezing, and now they're <laughs> that guy just walked into it. It's not, oh my god! What an idiot! 
All right, level four, that's perfect. Maybe we should see what the fourth um, level of spell is we can add, but we'll just frozen ramparts this guy first before we do that. Another death by freezing. So many freezing deaths. Uh, let's not move, let's just hold still. Let that endoplasm walk in and kill itself. Oh my god, I, that feels so good when they come in and kill themselves like that. It's fantastic. Alright. Bat, you don't have a chance. What are we doing? Yep, always remember to turn on the boomerang starts and javelins. Yep. Poison dart's good. This is not an ideal location to stand. Ooh, yo, yo, I really got beat up there. Can't stay here. That jelly's not gonna walk into those ramparts. Not a great situation here. Um, I think we can freeze that jelly. Ooh, here's a great idea. Let's frozen ramparts before we can even see him. The jelly will walk into the ramparts, start hurting itself. We can freeze it a couple times and it's a goner. Perfect. Spellcast in level three. That's ideal. We're getting stronger. Okay, this is a little scary to just walk in like this. Ooh, cool layout. I wonder what god this is that's opposite Gozag. Um, not even gonna check. Are we? Zaha, Mashinzari, Dithminos. None of those are right either, although I think that's one we should have taken. Um, none of those are bad for this character, per se. Zom would have been a real disaster, maybe, but okay. Ooh. Uh oh, here's Red, Sigmund. Oh, we should be moving away. We should be getting out of here. Don't bother. Oh, we're gonna frozen ramparts here? Well, how are we gonna get Sigmund to come over here? Oh, he's in. He's hurting himself. Oh, get closer? That's crazy. Oh, yes. Frozen Ramparts is dude to death. Freeze him. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so sexy. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We crushed him. That's nice. Killed Sigmund. Make some an Ice Beast available. That's awesome. Ooh, there's... Um, there's our boy, who we've picked a lot, few times in the last couple games. Um, and I think we ended up picking him there. Yeah, we did. Nemlex Zoba is the god for this ice elementalist. I guess that'll work. Put a helmet on, why not? Oh, okay. This is not good for us because this guy's going to blink us out of the frozen ramparts, but as long as we get some good freezes on him, we should be okay. Ooh, he's really not taking any damage from the freeze. I wonder if he's resistant to freeze. Didn't bother to check. Um, We do have a short sword, so we could hit him with that. Oh my goodness, this is not a good situation. Um, definitely take the potion of magic so we can do some more frozen ramparts get rid of these jackals oh per oh geez okay um this is a tough oh even worse okay freeze this dude get this guy out of here come on get some hits oh yeah yo oh my goodness that happens so fast oh this phantom oh that's it geez louise okay well i guess that's in at 312 so the Cobalt Cinder Acolyte with 2009 wins this fight.